Hey team, and welcome to the one where I talk about my first week getting paid as a web developer. All right guys, so I just finished up my first week at my new job um, where I have the title of web developer. And I'm just gonna kind of go through how it felt, what it was like, and all of that good stuff. So yeah, let's hop right in. Um, day one and kind of most of day two, I spent meeting new people, kind of getting the gist of what my responsibilities were, and installing a bunch of new software on the computer um, that I got for my job. There's a lot of technology that I'm not used to, so I also spent some time learning that. Um, we're using Twig, which is a PHP templating language um, that you have to use for the content management uh, thing that we're using. It's Craft, which I've got no experience in. So I ran through some tutorials online about that sort of stuff and just kind of learned how to be productive at work. And that kind of took up most of the first two days of my time there. So if you guys want to learn any more about Twig or Craft, I will link down in the description linky box down below and with some resources for that. Uh, basically, Twig, just the templating language for PHP, and Craft runs on PHP. It's a CMS, like I said, kind of similar to WordPress or Drupal. Definitely a lot more hands-off than WordPress is, a lot less plugin reliant. And yeah, so those are the tools that we'll be using at work. And a lot of the reason why they decided that they needed a web developer was they've never actually had one before, from what I understand. They just kind of would take an engineer off of another project if they needed help with anything. And so they're migrating to a new system, craft, and kind of changing the look of the website a little bit. And that's what they brought me on for. It's both very kind of terrifying and exciting that I'll be in charge of this website. So by day three, I had at least had enough experience or enough learning um, in the basic kind of systems that we used where I made my first pull request and my first successful merge into master, which is probably the most terrifying feeling I've ever felt in my life. I put something into production and hitting refresh and waiting for it to come up and making sure that it didn't break absolutely everything on the site was terrifying and exciting all at the same time rolled into one. And it didn't break anything. So I didn't break anything in my first week, which I take as a big old success. Um, but there's definitely that kind of worry that comes along with, hey, this is my first time ever doing this in the real world. And am I going to mess absolutely everything up? I don't know. Okay, so I think it's probably a good time to talk about something that's pretty serious and I'm going through right now. And whether it, you're searching for your first job right now or you just started, it's something that may affect you and we should talk about it. So I have this feeling I'm at a place where there's probably 50 employees and a bunch of them are developers and a bunch of them are really, really, really smart people who have been working in technology and in programming for a really long time. And I just started. Like I have four months, including school, of experience and that is not a whole lot. I can code, I can make stuff, I know this but it is terrifying to be working with people who are so far advanced of you. And you can kind of get in this place where you ask yourself, am I supposed to be here? Why am I here? What am I doing? Do I even know what I'm doing? Can I even code? A popular term for this is the imposter syndrome, which I can link down below. There's a pretty good talk that I found. Um, I will put that down below about this kind of phenomenon. And I'm definitely going through it right now. There are times where I'm just like, ah, oh, crap, what am I doing? Like, I don't know. But you have to remember something. These people, they, you can, if you can say that they, that you are working with really smart people, if you know that, and that's kind of why you're intimidated, well, guess what? Those smart people are the people that hired you, and they hired you for a reason. They think that you can do good work, and they know that you can do good work, and you know that you can do good work. And just because there's a ramp up period for you, you have to learn new technology like Twig. I don't know. Like it's fine. You will get there. And they expect that. If they're taking a chance on hiring you for your first job, they know there's going to be some lag time. You're going to be productive. You just have to keep trucking at it. And that's what I have to keep telling myself. And maybe that's what you have to keep telling yourself. Just be ready for that. Know that it might come and it might hit you at any given point in time during this process of finding your first job or working at your first job. And just think to yourself, like, I'm here for a reason and I know what I'm doing and I can do this because that's, that's, that's just the truth. So yeah. 
All right, guys, so that's all I've got for this week. And once again, thank you for coming back uh, to another video. Check back with me next Monday where I'm going to post the video uh, by the numbers of how I ended up with my job. I talked about it last week a little bit, so it's going to be kind of how many places I applied to, what kind of jobs they were, where I got in the process, and just kind of a breakdown of how I landed where I landed. And past that, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button as always. Feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up with the channel. And if you would like to share the video, I would love you forever. We're just trying to build a community here of people on their journey through the tech scene and whatever stops uh, we end up along the way. And so yeah, if you want to be a part of that or if you know somebody who does, feel free to share this video. Um, as far as questions or concerns, if you are going through the same thing that I'm going through, you just landed your first job and you're having some, some kind of worries, feel free to comment below. Let me know what your strategies are on it. Or if you have any questions at all, hey, my cat's here. If you have any questions at all about front end or web development or anything like that, feel free to ask down below. And if I don't know the answer, I know some pretty smart people who could probably help you out as well. All right, guys, so once again, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you all again next week. Bye.